wonder if the dupes are really as good as the original. another video and today is the long awaited day. I kind of gave y'all a sneak peek over on the community tab on my page and I talked about this blow dryer. I actually had an incredibly sweet follower on Instagram reach out to me and ask me if I had tried any Dyson hair dryer dupes and that was the first time I had heard anybody talking about these kinds of hair dryers. But Anyway, I am going to do an unboxing video. This actually came to me in the mail quite a while back and life has just gotten kind of busy and I just haven't even gotten around to opening it. So I thought it would be fun to open it here on camera with you guys. So this whole video is going to be a first impressions of this blow dryer versus the Dyson. Then I will use this blow dryer for a month and give you my thoughts and full review in a month's time. Are y'all ready? Are y'all a little scared? Because I'm a little bit scared, but let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I'm just going to pop this bad boy open. Ooh, okay, first up, I've got the diffuser. The only attachment that I personally care about. So let us see, let us see. There we go. This is the diffuser that comes with it and I actually have my Dyson blow dryer over here so I will be doing a direct comparison. Everybody has their own personal preferences on diffusers and things that work for me may not work for you but we'll just be comparing these side by side. So looking at them right here, the Dyson diffuser looks slightly bigger but not by much. And the Dyson has the magnetic attachment. Is that what that's called? It's so fun because like it clicks onto your blow dryer magnetically. This one does not have a magnetic closure. Also, it has the front pegs arranged in a different pattern than the one on the Dyson. Here are the differences in that. The hole size on the Dyson is much, much smaller, which means that it will diffuse the air quite a bit more. And this diffuser will let more air through. I will be using this diffuser when I use the blow dryer. I won't be diffusing my hair like I diffused it in my diffusing video. I will actually be diffusing my hair like I did in my quick and easy wash day routine. So. There you have that because when I use, in my quick and easy wash day routine, I did actually use this Dyson blow dryer and I did what is called hover diffusing and so I feel like that would be a better test because I don't tend to like small diffusers like this. I like a bigger diffuser for my hair. It's faster, but we are most certainly going to give this a shot. All right, what's next? <gasps> dun, 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 the blow dryer itself. All right, ooh. Okay, first thoughts. It is kind of top heavy. Let's see, okay. It feels slightly heavier than the Dyson, but not by much. Also, the Dyson's cord is, um, on the floor, which is helping alleviate some of the weight. And looking at them side by side, the Dyson is slightly smaller and more compact. The, I got the, I'm just gonna call it manly version. I actually saw two or three of these blow dryers that were almost exactly identical, made by different brands, but this is the exact brand that I got. I will most certainly have it linked in the description down below if you would like to find the exact one that I have. Now let's look at the controls. I can actually see you through the Dyson blow dryer. There is that really fun hole in the middle of the Dyson blow dryer. 
This does not have that. That is where they're actually housing the motor. It's a more, I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be more of a traditional blow dryer type motor versus this Dyson one, which they've had a whole lot of fun revolutionizing their airflow technology, right? That's what they're famous for. Now, this is kind of cute, actually. So the Dyson has its heat controls right here and fan controls. So to kind of mimic the Dyson, the Manly actually puts three dots on each side right here because three dots of light will light up on the Dyson, but these little buttons don't have any functionality. It's just to make it appear more like the Dyson. You actually can control the on off power from the back. It's just a little switch. The Dyson is also a little switch. It's just a teensy weensy little button. You have the cool shot right there, right next to the power button. And then you control fan speed, eh, sorry. <laughs> you control fan speed and heat temperature all from the back. This one you control on off from the back and then you turn it around to the front and you have your switch that controls fan speed. Now the question is, how do I control the temperature? Because I was pretty sure that there was a temperature control. Oh, see this is a true unboxing, like I'm figuring it out as I go. Let's read the instructions. I think the little switch on the back is actually the temperature control. So let me see. Yep. This button on the back, I lied, it's not the on off button. It is actually the temperature controls. So when it is in the up position, it is supposed to be blowing cold air. And when it is in the down position, that is when it's supposed to be blowing hot air. We will see. I think I read these instructions right. And then you have three speeds. You have low, medium, and high fan speed. You only have two options for temperature, whereas with the Dyson, you have one, two, three, four. You have four. You have no heat at all with the cold shot. You have low heat with one red dot, two medium heat, four with the three red dots. And I feel like when there's no dots on my Dyson, it's, it's the same as cold shot but I could be wrong. But that's what it feels like when I'm blow drying my hair. All right, moving on. Let's see if there's anything else fun in the box. Haha, -ha, nozzles. Okay, I am a bad YouTuber. I don't actually have my Dyson nozzles right near me because I don't use them. But I can most certainly compare those side by side for you for a later moment but just eyeballing them side by side. Well, that's interesting. They're almost exactly the same. Whereas with the Dyson, one of them is really, really small and narrow and the other one is kind of wider. Um, one concentrates the airflow more and one disperses the airflow more. These are very similar. Ah, okay, they're different heights. So one is slightly more concentrated. However, they are the exact same width apart and the Dyson one is slightly more pinched on one of them. Again, no fun magnetic attachment like with the Dyson, but that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna test the temperature. <laughs> I am so cheap. I picked these thermometers up from Walmart I honestly have no idea which thermometer is gonna give me a more accurate reading, but I picked one up that goes in your fridge because it goes up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I picked up one that you put in your oven, which the lowest starting temperature is 150. So I won't be able to test any degreeses in between 80 and 150 unless I'm able to use this meat thermometer and get it to work. Are we having fun yet? This is just one great big happy haphazard experiment. All right, moment of truth. Let's turn it on for the first time. Sorry guys, I take back what I said earlier. 
So, I'm gonna get up close and personal with y'all. Let's see if my camera will focus. Okay, so what we've got here is fan speed, and it just blows air. Then we have low, low speed, and when the cool switch is up, that's when it will blow heat. And then high speed, right here, these two little squiggly lines, that is when it blows high speed and it's got some power. Now I'm gonna see if I can compare the airflow just by feel side by side. This is my Dyson. thoughts when I held my hand right here and blew the Dyson on it the air was much more focused and I don't know if it was a faster fan speed or a slower sp fan speed it do, did feel much more directed and so because it was more directed feeling it felt more powerful this however put out a lot of air, but it was more dispersed. So it didn't feel as high pressure, but it felt like it was putting out a lot of good drying air. I will say just doing it from touch and feel, this thing gets so hot. <laughs> So fast. The Dyson for me takes kind of a minute to get warm and then it's decently warm. So now I'm gonna try and test the temperature of both these dryers and see if I can get kind of a semi-accurate reading. Wish me luck. All right now I'm trying the meat thermometer. Let's see if I can get a more accurate reading with this. really good so I held it very carefully about an inch away it hit just over 140 and then it stopped climbing and I mean this thing was climbing fast until it hit 140 now that the air is not touching it it's dropping quite a bit but there we go I've tested the manly one now let's test the Dyson and see how hot the Dyson gets All right, I let that sit actually slightly longer than I let it sit for the Manly dryer, and it barely got over 110, it's, and it stopped. I could not get it to break over 120. So the Manly blow dryer was about 20 degrees hotter. And that is in my unprofessional, very unscientific testing that's happening right here in my bedroom. So. There we go, those are my first unboxing impressions. That's the best way that I know of to test these two products side by side, just out of the box. Now what's gonna happen is, is I am actually gonna go wash and style my hair, and then I will show you me diffusing my hair with the Manly Diffuser in just a minute. Hi there guys. Welcome to my bathtub once again. I am actually gonna breeze through this very quickly because I tried to keep things as similar to my short and sweet wash day routine um, in this routine as I did in that video. Okay, anyway, so just using the Mop Top Salon Gentle Shampoo. I ran out of my other shampoo and now I'm using this one. It's fantastic. Now I'm going in with the Mop Top Daily Conditioner. Wow, you gotta love it when it's sped up. Can I really wash my hair this fast in real life? That would be great. Taking off my ring so that I can finger detangle my hair really quickly. Um, in my short and sweet wash day routine, I really tried to keep my hair like scrunched up while I was rinsing it. So you'll see me doing that in a moment, but I'm doing the good old normal squish to condition. 
and adding some more water because I felt like there wasn't enough water in my hair to squish with. Lots of water, lots of squishing, good times. Breaking the curl clumps off the back of my head by raking them off the back of my head and continuing to add water and squish. Now I'm just holding my hair up as I rinse it to kind of keep the curl pattern from getting stretched out. That's really tricky to do as I rinse out the conditioner. I'm trying. Clearly it's perfectly straight here, but I tried to hold it up while I rinsed out the conditioner. You get the idea. This works a whole lot better if you do it in the shower. Now I'm just going to plop my hair with my Resos microfiber towel. This thing is so cool and unique from any other microfiber towel I've ever used. It doesn't pull too much water out of my hair, but it pulls the right amount. Okay, now I've plopped for a little bit and I am just going to add some Innersense Organic Beauty I Create Lift Volumizing Foam. With my open palm scrunch, I'm just going to pat it in. I grabbed three pumps there. Now I'm grabbing two more, and I'm not smashing doing prayer hands. I am keeping my hands apart as I very gently glaze this product over. And I rinse reach all the way around in the back and make sure that I'm getting product all the way in the back of my head because that will help me have some curl enhancement back there. Got to get product everywhere, folks. Now, moment of truth. I am just using the Manly diffuser. And when it wasn't touching my hair, I had it on high heat. But as soon as I let it come into contact with my hair, I turned the heat off and used the low heat. I did notice that the blow dryer cooled off very quickly, so I would turn the heat on when I was holding the diffuser away from my hair because remember, you can do that and it doesn't cause damage if it's not touching your hair, as says the theory of hover diffusing. So, total diffusing time, 19 minutes and 30 seconds. That is actually kind of a bit longer than it takes me with the Dyson usually to do this routine. Um, you know this if you have watched the other video, but I think there are some other factors that can play into dry time like humidity, the state of my hair, things like that. So. Uh, first impressions, my hair is quite a bit frizzier than it normally is. Again, that could just be my hair today, so don't worry. I will continue to test this out, but that is all I have time for. I have to head out and go run a couple errands, but I will be back to scrunch out the crunch and wrap up this video in just a few minutes. It won't be a few minutes for y'all. Y'all will just be like, boom, next slide, because editing Courtney will, will take care of that for you. But I'm gonna show you the back after diffusing, so. <laughs> that is what we're working with. I am okay to leave my house. Oh, and my roots are, are dry, which I love. Okay, I'll be back. One moment. All right, and I'm here to scrunch out the non-existent crunch with you guys. This really doesn't, <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it scrunch out the crunch. It's really more like I'm just fluffing my hair, but I do feel like it loosens everything up, makes my waves slash curls look a little bit fuller. Taking off the ring. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm using the little monitor here to find my part. There we go, that'll work. And then making a claw and fluffing everything back into place. And there we go, that is my short and sweet wash day routine using the new Manly Dyson Dupe blow dryer. Let me show you the back. So I will continue using the Manly blow dryer for a little while, about a month, and then I will be back to share my final thoughts on it for you. I did notice two things while I was using it today that I forgot to mention when I unboxed it. Let me just grab it here for you. So the Dyson right here 
the air intake is right here. So when I'm using the Dyson, let's say I'm using the Dyson, it will suck in my shirt. <laughs> it like, it has grabbed my shirt before while I'm drying my hair. The air intake on this blow dryer is actually in the back. So I found that it wasn't getting sucked into my shirt, but strands of my hair were getting sucked into the back as I diffused like so. Okay, another thing I noticed is that the cord for the Dyson blow dryer is significantly longer than the cord on this blow dryer. It's a good length cord, it's just not nearly as long as the Dyson blow dryer. But there you have it. That is my first impression review of the Dyson Dupe blow dryer. If you would, please leave me a comment down below if I missed anything that you would like for me to cover in the full month long review. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciated hanging out with y'all today. I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day and I will talk to you later. Bye!